Little Kate's managed to get a place in the entire family's heart, huh? Everyone loves and adores her. She's a jewel we never deserved. She reminds me of the sweet times with my little sister, Carolina. I wanted to give her the world, but it's too late for that now. So I promise I'd give that best life to Kate. Please sure, we will. Well, the flight has landed. Let's go. The rich crook family has a little princess with them now. I wonder who she is. Uncle Albert, is this my mommy's castle? Yes, honey. And now, it's yours. Ugh. We lost everything, including our home. And now we had to move to this old residence by the stupid countryside. I wonder what else is in store for us poor people. <laughs> the entire Cooper family had gone insane after everything. James often lost his temper and screamed at Carol. As they were arguing, Lena turned on the TV news. Look! That's the brat! Spotted in the airport with the Crook family. And everyone's wondering who she is. Ugh, that ungrateful brat. We fed her. And now she's living the life of everyone's dreams. Look at us! Suffering here like... Ugh. Carol, give me something to drink. Me too. I want some soup. How dare the Cooper family treat me like their servant. Ugh, I have no happiness in this life. I even tried to poison James once, but he just won't die. Gosh, every time I try to seduce other wealthy men, their wives beat me up. Ugh. It's no fair that Kate is happy while I'm so terrible. Carol had no choice but to live with the Cooper family until she found a good way out. So she thought of all evil ways possible to spoil Kate's happiness. The girl spotted with the Crook family is a devil who pushed her poor pregnant stepmother off the stairs, leading to a miscarriage and hemorrhages. Forward to all. And it was forwarded over to all the local gossip groups. Do I also have a grandma, Grandpa? Um... Mason didn't know how to tell that innocent soul that after Carolina's disappearance, his wife went insane. And after two years, she got totally bedridden. But now that Kate's there, Mason thought maybe his wife would feel better. Grandpa? Yes, sweetheart. Yes, you have a grandmother. She'll be very happy to see you. But first, you need to get ready to meet your cousins. Cousins? I've got brothers and sisters? Yes, darling. You've got two brothers and a sister. They're going to love you, too. Grandpa, can I have a pencil and paper? I want to draw something for my cousins as a gift. Of course, sweetheart. Let me take you to your room. I feel really comfortable and more loved here, Grandpa. Back at the Cooper family, I was given the smallest room that was the size of a bed. Grandma thought that giving me a nice room would bring bad luck to her family. Huh? I don't want another sister. I'm already fed up with giving away my things to Jane. Another little sister's too much for me. Will I have to share my toys with Kate now? It's her little sister, Jane. <laughs> so yes, you'll give her all your toys. All my toys? No way! Jane got so angry that she took all her toys and ran to her room to play alone. She must be here to take all my toys. Hi, I'm Kate. Leave me alone. Go away. Get out! At least I'm not new to screaming, but I expected something different here. And it's not going to be so now, is it? Will Kate be able to find the acceptance she wants from her cousins? What will happen when she meets her new grandma? Jane, is this how you talk to your sister? What's all the yelling? Sorry, Dad. Jane, darling, it's your sister Kate. Come on, say sorry to her. No! Where are your manners, Jennifer? Is this what you've been teaching her? Your sister Kate made you a painting, Jane. And you... I don't want it! I don't want her either! Get her out! Come, let's go, my dear Kate. <laughs> Mom, why did Grandpa scold me for her? I know, sweetie, it's not fair. At least he should have talked to me like that. I've been nothing but a good daughter-in-law all these years, and... And he just said I can't teach my own daughter some manners? This is not done. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Jane's always been like that. It's okay. I understand, Grandpa. She doesn't know me. It's not her fault. Mason smiled and took the painting from Kate's hand. He was taken by surprise that a young girl like her could paint so perfectly well. Wow. It's so beautiful. Have you been learning painting? 
I used to paint back at home, but my aunt would tear my paintings, and so I had to hide them. But I love doing it. One day, you're going to be a great painter. I feel it. I know it. As they were talking, they were interrupted by a man who brought a message that Mrs. Catherine was there waiting for Kate. My baby, Kate, my beautiful Kate, you're finally home. Mason, look at her. She looks exactly like Carolina when she was her age, doesn't she? Oh, I missed you so much, my dear girl. It's okay, Grandma. I'm here with you now. And I'm not going anywhere. This girl, she's stealing my toys. My grandparents, too. What next? My parents? Ah. As she was murmuring to herself, she heard some weird voices coming from Kate's room. She kicked open the door and saw a beautiful green parrot right in front of her and walked right in with an evil smile. What a beautiful bird. You're going to be mine now. <laughs> Honey, it's your sister's room. Let's not create any more trouble today, okay? But mommy, the parrot, I want it. We'll get you a new one. This belongs to your sister, sweet. You can't take it. Get your hands off Exy. You're hurting him. Let him go. No, he's mine. She hurt me. How dare she hurt me? I'm the princess of this mansion, and no one has ever even raised their voice at me. And now this girl- Kate, why did you push her like this? If you don't want to give your parrot, it's fine, but you shouldn't hurt others. Look at her bruises now. But, but she hurt Exy. Is it fair though, to hurt your sister over a parrot? Enough, Jennifer. You talk about being fair, but you can't even teach your child to be human. First, she misbehaved with Kate, and now she's hurting the poor parrot. Okay, it was Jane's fault too, but as a grandfather, don't you think you should also consider Jane's perspective instead of just Kate's? This isn't fine. I'm really sorry, Dad. Jennifer's really sensitive, and when it comes to her kids, sometimes a bit overprotective. But I'm sure she didn't mean it. And Kate, sweetie, are you okay? Is Exie all right? Mm-hmm. Please, teach Jane some manners. If Jennifer won't, then you must. Go and talk to her. What happened back there, Jennifer? Why won't you two just apologize to Kate? Even you are siding with them now? Look at your daughter. Her eyes are swollen and she's bruised. I can't even look at the poor one. If she hadn't taken the parrot forcefully, none of this would have happened, right? It was Jane's fault. At that angry moment, Jennifer felt challenged by an eight-year-old Kate. What will she do now to secure her daughter's place over the newcomer in the family? Will Kate survive her evil plans? Will things change between them for the better? To know the full story... Hi all! Kate here. Can't wait for you to watch my story, Million Dollar Girl. Season 1 is now streaming on the Pocket FM Dramas YouTube channel. To watch the next episode, tap here, and to watch the full season, click on the playlist.